Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Starting the day off, we're at the animals. Make Lucy, Lucy, where are you going? Oh God, Rip! Oh God, Rip! Hennifer! Hennifer! No! Hennifer! No! Oh God, the chicken's gonna die! Hey! No! Millie! No! Millie! Ah, Hennifer made it, don't worry. We're putting the dogs back in the meal. Oh, look what Jimothy Ooh. did. Look how much hay he's moved now. Wait, what? Remember he had it, like, drug out before? Now he's moved it over here. Maybe Jimmy. he likes to poop on it. What are you doing there, buddy? What was that move? <laughs> what was he was scratching his butt? Did you like that? Yeah, what's he doing? Hey, get in the meal. No, go get in the back in the meal. You're being naughty. All right, well, we're going to take care of Jimothy here. How you doing, big boy? Oh, we better you clean that out. That. When the heck did that happen? So that was full of hay, like, a couple days ago. All right, Jimothy, we're going we're gonna to clean this out. He's, yeah. he's due for a cleaning. I'm gonna go get. All right, so there's a shovel. Get that we get that little shovel. Hay. I'm gonna go get a bale of hay. So we'll fill this thing up with some hay. Ah, I got hay. We've been giving him a lot of Timothy hay, but this is well, actually, this is brome. So he can eat this. It's not just straw. But then we'll give him some more Timothy hay and some grain. All right, Chungus, coming in hot, my friend. He filled it up. Everyone says that he needs to be able to burrow, so now he can burrow. Chungus, what you think, buddy? See, he can burrow up under it. He got his grain dish. We'll keep his grain dish right here. All right, Chungus, so what you been waiting for, my guy? Come get yourself some. Anyways, he's got plenty of hay. He's chilling. We'll give him some more. We'll give him a little bit more water. But oh, there he's coming. Come on, Chungus. And get some of that grain. There you go. There you go. Get some of that grain, my guy. How you doing, big boy? What a good rabbit, Chungus. All right, so plenty of hay. Now you guys can't be yelling at me that Chungus is gonna be cold. I don't think she was cold anyways, but. Now, unlimited hay for, for chunks. We're giving some water. Gotta feed the rest of the animals. And I got Ralph Scooby Snacks. Ralph, hey, we got Scooby Snacks, buddy. Remember these? Oh, oh, what that mouth do, big guy. Make him sit for it. Hey, Kush. He says, nah, I'm good. There you go, big guy. How you doing? Why y'all wet? You're a damp guy. You gotta stay dry, my friend. Steve? I've never hand fed Steve in my life. I about, I about lost it right there. The sheep have? Yeah, they'll be all right. Make Just it. a little amount. Yeah. Oh, you want another one? You got Kush. Kush. Kush, Ralph. Yeah, see, he don't he don't listen unless you got that chain on him. I'm, I'm trying to balance between training and him hating us, so I don't want to train him if he's going to hate us, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Ralphie likes it. Hey, Ralphie's going to come steal it. Oh, oh, did you see that? That was like Lady and the Tramp. They about made out right there. Dale, you want some? Oh, Dale ate it. Low-key smells like the good <laughs> stuff. You ever get look a whiff of Dale, Look at Dale's mouth. He hasn't chewed it at all yet. Dale. He's sucking on it. Dale. Grubby. <laughs> there you go. All right. Dale. Good boy. Chew all right. It. Let's go give everybody else some green. All right. Come on. Come on. Right here. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. Over here. There you go. All right. Well, we're getting these guys fed. Zach's on water duty. We are going to be doing some fishing, but before we do that, got to remind you guys, we've got this new thing coming called the Beefcake Club. Llama, no more. Band is getting the rest. Beefcake Club coming February 1st. So if you guys don't know what it is, it'll be a feature within YouTube. You hit the join button and I'll link it down below on February 1st. But basically, you can sign up, you can join, you can be a rookie beefcake or the ultimate beefcake. You get access to exclusive live streams, bonus videos. We're going to be gaming, playing Hunter Call of the Wild. You'll get access to that. Special badges, emojis, all sorts of stuff where we we can kind of one-on-one -on -one talk and, and chill and hang out on live streams, like I said, extra videos and stuff like that. I'll have a lot more explanation as it gets a little bit closer to February 1st, but mark your calendars. If you're a beefcake like us, you're going to want to join the Ultimate Beefcake Club. So it'll be linked down below on February 1st, but I got to let you guys know. But we are going to be doing some fishing, okay? Today's objective, after we take care of the animals, make sure nothing's dead. Nothing's dead. Ravi, no, there's nothing left in here, buddy. Banjo's, go get, oh, Rav, he just smoked the camera. Banjo's on grain duty, okay? You go, go talk to him. So we are going to be fishing. We're going to be headed down down to the cabin pond, but we're gonna be fishing the OG backyard pond, and we're gonna be taking fish from that pond to the other pond. Now, just to clarify, okay, these ponds are connected via a stream. So like, technically, they're not really two different bodies of water. There's just like a levee in between them. So for this purpose, we're able to transport fish from one to another using the same water. You don't wanna do this if you're going from one lake to another lake or a private pond to another private pond. You gotta contact your DNR um, first off to make sure you can do it. But when you're going from one body to another, then you can't use the same water because if one has invasive species like zebra mussels, you don't, yeah, you suck. I'm not even flinching. He ain't gonna hit us. Band just throwing snowballs. You can't take water from one body and dump it in another. You're supposed to bring your own water. But for the sake of this, since it is the same body of water, we are able to use the same water. I don't know if that makes any, does that make any sense? Yeah, you got it. Either way, we're gonna be transporting bluegills. Banjo, keep giving them some food. They're still hungry. Yeah, he's, he's still hungry. Give him some more food. Ralph's pissed. So we're gonna be taking bluegill from the 
backyard pond, the main one, back down to the cabin pond before we stock it with bass. So we stocked it with minnows and nothing else. So you have to establish the food base, the forage base first. We've got the minnows in there. We've got like, I don't know, 200 minnows. We need to keep stocking more. Whatever we don't use today, we'll put in there. And then we got to get bluegills in there because the bass will eat the bluegills. So after we stock the bluegills today, we'll be stocking the bass. But you don't want to stock the bass unless there's bluegills. Does that make sense? Yeah, you got it. It's, it's a food chain thing. Mm -hmm. You start small, minnows, because like those little minnows, bluegills can eat, you know? So now we're gonna put the bluegills in now that there's food for the bluegills and then we'll put the bass in once there's food for the bass being the bluegills and then nothing really eats the bass if that makes sense so we're gonna head down to the pond in a minute we're gonna finish feeding these guys taking care of business head down and it's gonna be a bluegill derby banjo's dream come true bluegill derby and we're gonna try to transport fish down to the cabin pond you guys stay tuned Shoo! well we made it down to the cabin well actually take that back this is the cabins down there the ponds over here so we're going from pond a to pond b i say we just cut a hole and just grab the fish and just yeet, and just see if you can land it you know what i'm saying yeah, like somebody or somebody's down there to catch it yeah, like yeah, quarterback yeah. receiver and then and then you catch it and you, you slam dunk in the hole i like your name for the pond a and pond b can you not have anything else named no that's you have it everything else named no besides the pond cabin pond and backyard pond even though they're both in the backyard um like i said our goal is to stock the cabin pond see how, how crazy that is that's open that's how much like that's the power of the springs the warm water springs that feed all these it's literally open water right there it's so weird that's open water over there too so we are going to try to catch some bluegills i mean we might catch bass i don't really want to transport bass though like I said, until we get the forage base established. Now, obviously this is kind of just like doing what we can while we can since everything's frozen and there's ice fishing. Like ideally in the spring, once I can get a hold of the fish hatchery guy, we'll load thousands of bluegills in here and hopefully thousands of bass and do, you know, this is more on just a smaller scale. What we can do, you know, obviously, hey, it's cold, it's snowy. What else is there to do? Let's go do some ice fishing. Let's do some fish pond management and try to relieve this pond a little bit um, from the overpopulation of stunted bass and put them in here. But in order to put the stunted bass in here and have them grow because that's the whole point you don't want to put stunted bass in here that aren't going to grow they need food so you got to get the food over there now i don't want to take a bunch of big bluegills from here because those are the really good breeders i would much rather buy the breeders in the spring and then have them lay their eggs in the spring so the goal would be to catch basically smaller bluegill that the bass that we would transport being the stunted ones anywhere from 11 to 14 inches can potentially eat so we're going after little guys but like i said we're probably going to catch a whole bunch of fish we've got a bunch of rods and we're going to give it a dangle and see we catch you guys stay tuned why is it like this i don't like this that's part. not good it might be you think we got that much snow what do you think zach we gonna die or what no bear <laughs> he's got it right. Millie, what up buddy Millie, leave some water for the fish all right we're dropping her down boys oh god school's down there oh, oh dude it's loaded 20 fish right there all right so let's let's just see what the size is first okay let's just take it easy there jim this would be large he's lay, laying on the bottom like that they didn't attack it right away yep he's coming he's coming he's coming yep he bit he bit he's got it he's got it it's gotta be a small so that and smaller? That and smaller. I would say that's like our top. Because like, I don't know if a 13 inch large you could eat that. It'd be close. But we can we can keep her for now. I mean, we can always, well, we've got two buckets. So let's do like a guaranteed for sure small enough and then on the fence. And if we end up catching enough really small ones, we can always release these guys. But I would say that'll count. So I'm gonna go drop this guy back in the hole so he don't die. Just to be clear, we're not fishing out of this thing, okay? This is just strictly to get water. We're not using this for, for any fishing purposes. Come on, Big Jim. All right, so I would say that size and smaller. He ain't bad. He's just, he's a little on the large side. Now, if we start, if we get a hold of some big large mouth, they would work. But the idea with this, the cabin pond is more catch and cook. He's not big enough for us to eat, and he's also not small enough for the bass to eat. So he's kind of, kind of in the middle, but we're going to let him dangle in there for a little bit. Hopefully, we can kind of cull him out and throw him back. We don't have to keep him, but like I said, he's, he's on the fence he's not too big he's not too small all right we're dropping down again boys whole mess of them down there oh my goodness dude they're packed today there's like lucy 30. lucy lucy watch out buddy i can't even see my deal i'm just gonna have to hold it and see if anything bites got him got him Come on. Oh, yeah. see, that's better. He's a little bit smaller. They could eat that. He could, I think I think a 14-inch large, he could eat that. You would be surprised at the size of fish that bass could eat. So that'll be a good one right there. So we'll throw him in the bucket. All right, well, we're going to drill another hole and see if we can catch more fish. All right, I, I drilled another hole for Banjo, so he'll be to my left. Oh, Lucy, Lucy, has Lucy no. No, Lucy, no. No, Lucy, no. Oh, I have a fish. Rip. Oh, God, this feels like a decent one. Might be too big. Yep, oh, too big. Yeah, he's a little too big. Oh, we got another bluegill. 
He swallowed it. I was trying to, I got distracted by Lucy. She ate one of the bluegills. But this guy's just just a hair on the big side, a little, a little too fat. I say, let's, let's make this interesting. Since Banjo and I are next to each other, you're you're using a white jig head. I'm using a pink. I don't think it matters, but our okay. bait is a wax worm. So I would say, how about we do first person to six gills, six keepers. If you catch an over, it's a minus one point. Minus one. Okay. A keeper is two points. Okay. First one to how many points? Uh, let's do 10 points. 10 points. 10 okay. points. Okay. So a keeper, and you can be the judge on the keeper, so it's fair. Okay. If you think a 13 inch largey can eat it, it goes in the bucket. If you think it's a little too big, it goes in the water. If it's too big, you, you minus a point, and if you keep it, it's two points. Okay. First person, 10 wins. How much money? Uh, th a thing of wax worms. Wax yeah. worms? Yeah, $2.50. All right. All right, you ready? Yeah. Call, it, call it pool jet. Let us know when we can drop. You can go. All right, hey, we're Millie, get out of here. All right, we're dropping, boys. Now, this is getting intense now. Oh, we're hooked up already. Oh, it's gonna be too big. Let's go. Oh, rip. Oh, way too big. <laughs> oh, no. You're already in the negative. No, that's big chungus. What the hell? You're at negative one. No, rip. I don't know. I think I can see a 12 inch eating this thing. Really? Yeah, he you might think be. So. He's just gonna be. He's gonna have to be kind of hungry, but look at that guy. That big boy. That's the size you want in the feeder pond, in in the pond that's supposed to feed the big bass, because this guy will have lots of babies. What's going on down there, Banjo? You're not getting them. I don't want the big ones. There's a big one, and I moved out of its way. Really? Yep. That's the strat, huh? I don't know. All right, minus one. Lucy, leave it. Lucy, leave it. No, you leave it. Oh, he got a large mouth. Dude, he's on the largey hole. Look at that. Zach's gotten largies. He's a little bit over there on a point. Oh, God. Banjo's hooked up. Oh, oh no. Banjo's got two points. No, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Rip. Oh, we got him. Lucy, too big, too big. watch out, Lucy. Oh, oh, beautiful. Let's go. I'm plus one now. Yeah. Banjo, hey, getting close. You're only up fine. by one. So it's one to two. Banjo's winning. I'm mm. dropping back down, boys. Lucy, no. Dude, this dog. She won't, It's like diving for apples. Hey, no, she got it. Stop. Quit harassing our friend. Oh, Banjo's got him. Oh. That one is a big and two. Oh. Let's go. Minus two. Oh, Let's go. That's a big chungus, that's dude. Huge. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That, that that'd be the, the old bottom. Z. That's the old bottom dangler. He can't be getting them. Oh, I'm getting bit. Yep. It's going to be big. Yep. Oh, no. That's oh. big. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, sure. Oh, what? Oh, that's wow. bull crap. That's way too big. You say yeah. a 12 inch basket eat that? Uh uh. I, you'd be impressed. I would be impressed. That is bull crap. I would have thrown him back. Yeah, no. see? What do you mean? He's fine. How about, how about no plus, no minus? I, I think I should release him. You think so? I yeah, think so. He's, he's a little big. No. That's way bigger. Look at the other ones we've been keeping. That's pr Double That's size. pretty big. I I'll release him, but I don't get minus. How about that? Okay, fine. Since, since I'm doing it for you, Banjo. Yeah, big one. Maybe he's biting. Got him. Yeah. Oh, it came off. Rip. Rip. Oh, oh, he bit. Got him. Got him. Come on. Come on. Oh, too big. No, oh, rip. I'm negative yeah. one. Dude, we're not, no one's getting attacked. No. This ain't happening. You should have made it to five. This ain't happening. These are, they're too big. It's really good thing for like this pond. Like those are nice catchable fish, but they're not ones that I want to remove. I paid to get them in here. I don't want to remove them and put them in the other pond. So I feel like we were catching. Oh, you got one. Yeah, this ain't good. This oh ain't no! Good. Oh god, oh, he's, no. he's he's got him back. Might be a bass. Uh oh. No. Oh this my god! Huge. Just a giant. Oh, just a giant. Oh my god. So it's now zero zero. Yeah. yeah. Really. Oh god, banjo. This is a lot harder than I thought. Yeah. All right, pause game, banjo. Okay, you keep fishing. These fish are not looking that great. They're not dead, but they're not looking that great. I think the water's too cold. They're used to going down deeper. So we're gonna go actually release these five. We got five of them so far. So let's go release these five. Banjo's gonna keep catching fish, and we'll resume our game and see who wins. All right, we made it down to the cabin. Look at the cabin right there. It's doing big things. Um, we've got some fish in here. How are you guys doing? Oh yeah, they're doing all right. They're a little bit cold, so we're gonna go ahead and get them transported before they die. I had no idea that they would be so fragile, but a couple of them just aren't swimming that great. So we'll see if we can get them to swim off into the hole here. So this is the cabin pond. Big pond's up there, cabin pond's here. And so we're gonna try to get these bluegills in. It's gonna be kind of tough to, I was really hoping to get like 50 small ones in today. It's gonna be kind of tough to hit that number with if we're having to run you know, every 10 minutes down here before the fish die. But anyways, let's get a whole drill and get these guys released. All right, see you later, buddy. There you go. See you later, dude. Last one right here. St sit, sit. No, you, they, you cannot retrieve these. All right, see you later, buddy. Boom! All right, we got five of them released. Man, this water's cold right here. So that's why the fish stay deep in the winter. It's actually warmer, deeper, versus in the summer, the deep water's actually cooler. Lucy, they're gone, buddy. They're not your friends. 
Lucy's gotta learn that fish are friends, not food. She's used to chasing the ducks and stuff. So anyways, we got five in, let's head up top, see if they got any more. All right, change of plans, Banjo. I left a bucket of water in the mule with the heat on. You got one keeper? Really? Lucy, we got two keepers. See, they're swimming for now. Once they start getting kinda We'll go throw them we'll, in there. We'll, we'll run them to the warm water. I think they'll be fine. We got the meal on with the heat. Anyways, back to the competition. What, what was the score? 2-0? 2, zero? Uh, two nothing. you. Let's do this. All right, as you can see, there's but those are all fish right there. So those are actually on Banjo's side. But I'm going to drop this guy down. So there's me. See that dropping? So I'm going to drop it down that fish. Yep, he's coming. Lucy, watch out, buddy. He bit it. He bit it. I got him. Easy. Oh, God. Oh, rip. Might, might be too big. Either that or I'm tangled up somewhere. There we go. Now we got him on tangled. Lucy, watch out, buddy. Hey, he's hey. too big. Minus really? one. How are you mad about catching big bluegills? Right. These are these are great size, but they're not they're not great food for those little guys. Now their babies will be good food, but I, oh god, oh god. This ain't this ain't looking. Uh oh, good. you're yeah. negative one. The answer's negative. Oh, I'm come one. on, pool jet, give me this one. Mine's mine's smaller. Yeah. Negative one. Yeah, you both went and, down and, a point. And I'm one. You're one, yeah. One to negative one. All right. This is this. Are we making this to three now? Jeez. We might have to. Oh, I think I'm on it. Yep. Dude, there's a big fish down there. Oh, oh, oh that's a keeper. That's, a keeper, yeah. that's two. Yeah, you're at I got three. three. Okay, we're going to five. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. Got it. Big in. Nope. Big in. Nope. Yes, yeah. let's go. Yeah. You win. That's you five. five. You got it. Let's go, oh, baby. Wow. Dude, I, I finesse these little guys. So I, I think I figured out, like, you see them and they're really close and they don't bite it right away. I think they're small because, like, they're trying yeah. to bite it because that happened the last two. Ooh, took the dub there. Oh, Zach, you hooked up? He's just slaying the, the, the Mac Daddies. All right, well, uh, we need, I think we got to... We got to run them? Let's run them to the mule and see what they do. There you go, Banjo. We're just about to run some of these guys. I got you. That'll, that'll eat. Good thing we only did two hundred two dollars and fifty cents, not two hundred and fifty dollars. See, you wanted to go big baller and you would have lost. I was gonna do a thousand. <laughs> hey, listen, guy. We're, we're not all as rich as you, okay? Not really much different. It's hot in here. I mean the fish are doing okay, but I just don't want to lose them. See how they're just kind of there's a couple of them. They're alive. None of them are dead. They're alive. They're just they're just really cold. Yeah, this water's not it still has ice. Anyways, so let's go dump five. That's ten. Yeah. It's not bad. Let's go run these guys out. Alright, come on, fish. Wake back up. Oh, he's he's alive. Come on, wake back up. You got it. That one swam off. Oh, here he's going. Come on, wake up. There he goes. He kicked off. Come on. There you go. Yeah, you got to get down to that deep water where it's nice and warm. There you go. Yep, he took off. Last one. Flip around. Give it. There you go. All right. Five more in. That means there's ten bluegill in here total. Um, like so, we stocked a bunch of minnows. We'll we'll dump some re the, the rest of the minnows we have today back in here as well. But let's head back up top and try to get a few more. Yeah. Banjo, where'd this come from? I used half a wax worm and just killing them. Look at those are even better than what we've been catching. Those are like perfect little eaters. Go in the bucket. All right. Well, let's keep catching them. This one's big in. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think that one's it. Oh, a big chunky. Yeah. Zach, what you got there, buddy? Oh yeah. We've already stocked ten. That's three now in the bucket. I'm gonna go banjo strat. Half a waxy, huh? Yep. He's biting. Got him. Oh, he might be a baby too. Yeah! Oh, cool. Now we're getting it figured out. These are the ones we need right here. Try raising it up a little bit when they start going and see if you can get them chase it. There you go, banjo got him. There you go. Oh! There you go. Perfect! We're going for the one too. Ban banjo pulls one out. I real want to. Yep. As soon as Coming they start chasing up. it, you just start yep. barely raising it. Yeah, there he is. Oh, and we're doubled, Zach. We're doubled. Yeah, nothing. Oh, perfect. Zach. Oh, oh Zach got big chunky. What the hell? You see what the color on this guy? He's got all that oh, red on him. Orange. And it's like both sides, too, so it's not like he's just hurt. Yeah, that'll, mine will keep Zach's one. What are you, is it, are you using a plastic? Yeah. I that's did. why. Yeah, see, that's the difference between using a little bit of wax and using a plastic, so these little guys aren't going to eat it. Really? Make my eye drill in a hole scare him. Oh, wait, I got one. Rip. Probably had one the whole time. Oh, okay. this might be big chunky. Oh god, oh, rip. Oh wow. my. Dude, just mega. Those are big berthas right there. That's again, that's the size what you want to then have babies in the spring for them the bass to feed on. We're trying to grow this now, the backyard pond, into big bass factory. The pond down there is gonna be the catch and cook pond. So we gotta get it established. The reason why we're putting bass in that pond is just to help this pond. It's not really to eat those bass. We could eat them, but the idea would be to reduce the amount of small bass in this pond by putting them in the other pond to help these bass grow. Yeah, I was gonna say you definitely have one near you. Oh, oh that's it! Tiny. That's what we need. That's a flare fish. That's why we that's why we oh I got one coming up to me. Oh, yep, he's biting, he's biting. We're about to double up, boys. Oh, let's go. We got the old double. 
Yes, sir. That's a keeper too. Oh yeah. A little bit on the bigger side, but I'll take it. Yeah, Look baby. At that guy. Oh yeah. Big in. Perfect. All right, in the bucket. Probably two more, and we're gonna have to transport. They're still all alive. They're just they're slowing well, down. Zach was they're, catching fish. Yeah, oh. if we if we had Zach, you know, not awesome. quit quit catching all the big fish here. We could we could run another ten of them down there, but half a waxy is the strap. Oh, they're coming in, banjo. Yeah, they are. They're hitting me first. Oh, see, I can see. Zach. Oh, they're hitting Zach. You got two of them on you right now. I got one. Oh, we're doubled. We're doubled. Oh, yours is a keeper. This is good. I would, I would probably release mine. Mine's on the bigger side. What do you think? I mean, that's up to you what you want in that pond. You're I mean, not, you're, having, you're, you're gonna want bigger ones in that pond anyway. But eventually. I don't want to take them out of here. But, I would rather, I'd rather buy them. All right, I'm releasing this guy. See, I would rather not take the big ones out of here and buy new big ones for down there. Cause you don't want to take the big ones out of here. The, the idea would be to keep some big ones in here just for the bass to, to crunch on. But, oh, Zach's hooked up. What do we got? No. Oh, oh, perfect, dude. All of a sudden, it just like turned on. We're just going off right now on these little guys. This is what we needed. I think we'll get to 25. We're already at 10 in the pond. I think That's we got eight in the bucket. That's why I'm not catching anything. You got waxy on you? Oh, Zach's hooked up. Baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, throw oh, we'll, good we'll, enough. we'll throw them in there. Oh, there's a bunch of fish down there now, boys. Zach got them, too. Let's go. Oh, go. perfect. Dude, we're on them. He leaned back for that we're, one. Oh, God. He said it like a frogfish. Oh, there, someone's going after. Oh, I was gonna say, I can see one. There you go. Uh, yeah, we'll Good. keep that, we'll keep that. Zach's got it figured Zach's, out. Zach's got it dialed now. I was talking crap earlier. Talking oh, here we go. Zach. Oh, I got one too. I think we're doubled. Oh, Whoa. and we are. Oh, rip. Hey, there you go. Oh, I'm not doubled. That's nice. I, I'm not doubled. I, we actually doubled. were sharing a fish. All right, how many we got in the bucket? Right, three. we should probably take them. We got three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we like 22, 25. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, let's. I say let's take them down and get them released into the cabin pond. All right, wakey, wakey. Welcome to your new home, my friend. Choo. Come on, Jim. Wake up. There See, then go. they go. They're good. Yeah, yeah they, they're all. They're none of them are dead. Okay, I don't want any of you guys saying that we killed all these fish. They're, trust me, they're all gonna swim. They're just so cold that they're just kind of stunted. I hadn't been counting. There's five, six, seven, eight, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four. We're calling it twenty-five. That means there's twenty-five bluegills in here. I feel like that's pretty good. That was quite a bit. 25 bluegills. I mean, considering we're probably only gonna be able to get, I mean, you were you were catching the bass pretty good today. Mm -hmm. But even on like a bass derby day out here, I'd be surprised if we can transport more than 10. 15. I mean, like I said, the idea is these bluegills are here for the bass to eat, but the easiest way to make sure these bass survive in here is just putting a bunch of minnows in it. So then when we do that bass episode, which will be the next one that you guys see down here at the cabin pond, we're gonna get, I, I'm thinking getting like 10 dozen minnows, like a ton. Whoa. So that way the bass, don't have to worry about finding these bluegills if they can't find it for some reason, but the bass have the opportunity to, and they, these guys also have the opportunity to grow bigger. So with that being said, the cabin pond is officially stocked with catchable fish for the first time. The next episode, the next phase in stocking it will be to add some largemouth in here. This spring, obviously we're gonna go heavy with it. We're gonna bring a lot more bluegill in here, a lot more bass, catfish. We're thinking perch, I think white bass. I'm thinking everything that you can, maybe some smallies, maybe some everything, hybrids. Wow. If you can eat it, if it's, if it's, if it's like a like a walleye right yeah. you pike probably not a pike i probably put a pike in here this isn't musky. that big no definitely not a musk either but if it's a fish that you can eat if we catch any big crappie at the top pond we'll bring them down here like i said the idea is this is going to be the catch and cook pond so you're staying at the cabin you're chilling you're vibing you throw your lines out whatever you catch you take in you eat you feast up and at the same time we're going to benefit the top pond by taking out the stunted bass to make some giant bass grow in there so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching remember beefcake club member it starts on february 1st like i said you get bonus videos behind the scenes stuff, gaming videos, live streams, all that fun stuff. Banjo's excited. I'm gonna be a member. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you're gonna be, yeah. yeah. Which, are you gonna be a rookie beefcake or an ultimate beefcake? I ain't no rookie beefcake. That's what I'm saying. Ultimate. There's gonna be two levels of it, but you guys already know which one to pick. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.